Talking Tile, the Ontario Farm Drainage Series, is brought to you by the Land Improvement Contractors of Ontario. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to Talking Tile, a new video series here on Real Agriculture. Over the months ahead, we're going to be talking to a host of guests who are going to tackle a range of drainage topics. From how farmers can maintain their drainage systems to how drainage impacts the environment, there's a lot of ground to cover. On this episode, we're joined by drainage contractor Matt Williams and agronomist Peter Johnson. They'll define drainage, how it works, and why it's so important for agriculture. Morning, Matt. Nice plow. Wow. So, you're a drainage guy. What exactly is tile drainage? So tile drainage is water management. Basically, it's dealing with the interesting ideas that Mother Nature has. So Mother Nature, here in Ontario, typically we have too much water. So when you say water management, we're trying to remove, take the, the water away? No, so we're just lowering the groundwater table so that the surface water has somewhere to go, creating a nice, healthy soil bed. So, so we're taking away or, or we're managing the water table to let the crop grow better roots? Is that, is that what you're saying? Yeah, ultimately the first benefit is yield. Obviously, if it doesn't pay properly and pay but well, then people aren't going to do it. But also, it can be better for the equipment. You use less fuel and less wear and tear on your equipment as well. So we're trying to improve soil health as well as increase yields. And the other thing that you're really trying to do for farmers like me is Get, keep us from getting stuck because man getting mired in the mud is just brutal absolutely right? and erosion is also a big part of it as well by allowing that ground to act like a sponge it gives the water somewhere to go before it turns into runoff water so the managing the water table gives us the sponge so that when it rains there's some dry soil there to to absorb the water hold the water and not have it run off the surface and take all the topsoil with it through erosion. Absolutely, yeah, that's one of the biggest benefits, especially now with the environmental impact that is on everybody's radar. Okay, but wait a minute. So we're taking all this water away. Isn't that gonna dry up the groundwater, dry up my well, like that water's not there anymore? Definitely not. So essentially our drainage system, we're aiming for between that two to three and a half foot depth, um, depending on the soil type. So essentially we're just lowering the water table to that point, not below that. It's just taking it once it gets to there and then removing it. So we're taking two and a half to three feet and we're, we're draining that so that we manage the water table, but the water always comes into the tile from the bottom, right? Exactly, and the best part about that, I feel, is that that's clean groundwater coming up. So essentially, that should be the clean groundwater you see coming out the outlet pipe, so that the water on top, which can include all your fertilizers and everything else for farming practice, can be absorbed through the soil. So the soil is essentially acting like a filter. So we filter that water, and if it rains, and my, my water table's at five feet, say, that rain is actually going to go past the tile, which is really amazing that it goes right past that plastic tile in the, in the field and down to the five foot level, and until it fills that soil surface, or that soil reservoir up to that tile level, we're not actually moving that water out, right? That, that's right, very similar to the concepts of a septic system, except in a little bit reverse manner. Yeah, wow. So we're improving soil health because that soil has more air in it. We're getting better roots. We're getting better yields, 30% higher yields often. So there's a whole lot of, of really positive things. So give me the nuts and bolts then, then Matt, please. You're putting this plastic tile in, in the field, but how far apart, how do we get the water away from the field once it's in that plastic tile? What, what's the nuts and bolts of tile drainage? Yeah, so everybody understands the grid pattern idea. So most of the systems we install, like I said, are between the two to three and a half foot depth. Also the spacing can vary from 15 feet all the way to 40 foot spacing, sometimes even more. That's generally dependent upon the soil type as well as the budget and also the type of, the type of crops grown in farming practice. Um, when I say about the budget, what's interesting is that if you want to spread them farther apart to cover more area and then design the mains accordingly, then you can come back and split those systems very efficiently down the road. Wait a minute, okay, so splitting tile, I, I mean you just described that well, the main size, but 
but I just went through on my own farm and split my tile. But if my main wasn't big enough, you mean that wouldn't help me at all? No, then you're gonna end up overloading the mains that you have in place. Now that can be resurrected by putting a new main on the backside and intercepting it in a few spots to help relieve it. But what you're saying is that the main is really the control gate in terms of how much water comes off that field in, at any particular point in time. So, so cool, the main's the, the driver, but how much water then do we try to take away? So the way we size our mains is based on three main factors. There's the grade, the acreage that's going into the main, as well as the drainage coefficient. Okay, so what's drainage coefficient? Drainage coefficient is the amount of rainwater that a parcel of land can take in 24 hours. So the most common for us as contractors is between half and three quarter inch, sometimes into the one inch era. Um, the reason that we designed to this is that for one cost, the bigger the drainage coefficient, the more the cost of the system. But also you have to keep in mind your outlet because if your outlet is not designed to take beyond one inch of drainage coefficient, then all you're doing is creating a problem at your outlet and adding to the problem of infrastructure downstream. Yeah, so outlet's important, size of the main is important. And, and when you say a half inch drainage coefficient, that's a half inch of water in a 24 hour period? That's correct. Right, so a half inch of water in a 24 hour period really we shouldn't have a problem with the crops from that perspective. Cool. So you mentioned grade. I mean, gosh, you, with grade, we're doing some areas, Essex County, flat, flat, flat. So the grade can't be very much versus we get, I don't know, into Oxford County on those hills. How do we manage grade? So this is where it's important to hire a licensed drainage contractor because we are trained and also have the hours of experience to understand the topography of your land because like you said, there's very different topography when you move across Ontario. Um, dealing with too flat a grade is an issue with both performance as well as sedimentation, but if you have too much grade, that can also create hydraulic pressure and then you can end up with blowouts and performance <laughs> issues on that end. Yeah, yeah, I've experienced that, maybe for not from too much grade, but from a problem, but that also points to the importance of the of a plow like this, a, a good drainage plow that can hold the grade because man, water runs downhill and if we don't hold the grade on that tile, we, we don't install it properly, we're gonna have issues down the road, right? That's right, if you have an amazing machine but an operator that doesn't know what they're doing or you have an ex extremely amazing operator but a useless machine, <laughs> then you might as well just leave the tile in the yard. Don't bother putting it in the ground. Yeah, so, so it's best for me to stay out of the game entirely I can quite see that. Yeah, absolutely. So Matt, really interesting stuff. It, it's really though a long-term investment, right? It, it costs a lot of money to get that tile in the ground. It's a long-term investment. Absolutely. It's a generational investment. And this is where, again, hiring a licensed contractor is important because the system, beyond the first couple years, there's going to be some growing pains. The soil has to recover. There's going to be tiles cut off. Once you get past that first year or two and those maintenance issues are accomplished, they're very low maintenance systems for a generation. Yeah, but they, the first couple of years can be a bit of a pain in the neck. We split the tile on my farm and, and I filled them all in and three years later I had to go back and fill them all in again. It's just, just how it works, right? Absolutely. Patience can be your best friend. Unfortunately, it's a very tough, tough thing to teach. Yeah, I don't have good patience. <laughs> so really cool. It, it's a, a long-term investment, but the return on that investment is absolutely incredible. One of the clients that I work with Tiled field this year, 2023 wheat. Tiled, 130 bushels per acre, right across the ditch, untiled, same farmer, same variety, everything, 80 bushels per acre. On a dry year, you'd think it wouldn't work, wouldn't help. On a dry year, we actually see even more benefit, right? Absolutely, and that's fairly common because early in the spring, when the ground is extremely wet, those roots do better, so then they go deeper. So therefore, when you get into the dry seasons, the roots are thriving better because they're able to reach deeper to find the moisture, which again, in a dry year, is why you often see the tile runs in the crops. Yeah, interesting. They work best on a wet year and also on a dry year. It's only the perfect years where they're, they're maybe not as much. And also all crops, not just wheat. No, no, wheat's the most important. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, we, but they do work on all crops. So, so cool stuff. Thank you so much, Matt. Really neat, the, the return on investment, you pay for tile, whether you have it or not.